Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about some interesting thing that is Laravel joining. So what is joining? Why joining needed? And how many types of joining in Laravel, right? So please see the full video and subscribe this channel to support me, right? So the first things, what is joining? Joining is the process of taking data from multiple table and putting it into a generated view not much clear right let me explain in more simple way with an example suppose in a school there is students or there is subject table right so a student can assign with a subject right so here you can see this is the subject table and the english assigned to student id is 5 math is 3 so here you can see this is the student table so actually this is not a real life example i just want to show you how joining works and actually i want to see some data with uh, some student name and with a uh, subject name right so here you can see the student name is in different table and subject is in different table so how we will get data in a single view so this is the reason why we need joining joining need some common things right or you can say some relating things by which we can relate it with different different table so here this is the primary key of the student table this is the id and this id actually using in subject table as a foreign key actually these are refers the students right so if you check this is five that means english is referring the student id five so this is actually michael okay so basically there are six types of joining the main thing is three types of joining and in laravel we have another three types of joining so that is the inner join left join right join cross join advanced join and subquery join in this video we will discuss only first three types of joining that is inner join left join and right join and i will create a separate video for other types of joining okay so here is my database laravel 9 and we have two tables so let's step by step we'll create a join okay i already created a student controller in our previous video and these are registered in the route section so i think all you know these things i already discussed in our last video and i already created a laravel 9 playlist and these links are provided in the description section if you want to start from the beginning you can start right so first of all let's create a function into the student controller so simply write public function suppose i will start from the inner join right so simply write i can uh, write a new function suppose my function name is inner join and i will query with the db i will query with the database so that's the reason we need use the database so you simply use db okay so basically this is simply a db query so in future or in a two three videos i will create the allocation relations with laravel so this is more interesting so first today just uh, see the basic things how it is joining working and we will do step by step in our upcoming video so now i just want to create a variable and store uh, all the data from the tables suppose i want to store a uh, data and the result variable and simply i just included the db here and i just calling this db with this db scope resolution operator that is a double dot okay and i want to get the result from the students table as well as subject table so simply i will use the joining operation so simply write students so basically let me explain one another things basically what is inner join what is left join and what is right join so if you see simply in this image you can see this is the inner join that is there is two tables that is table one and table two and here if we use the inner joins that time it will only get the output which are relating or which are the common from the both table right so only those record will appear which are common okay this is the inner join okay so let's create the relation so simply i just using the db table students and let's use the join 
simply write join and I want to join with the subject table so simply write the table name that is subject and how student table related to the subject table so simply just write uh, students dot ID right so you can see students dot ID is related to subject dot student ID so write that student dot ID equal to the subject dot student ID okay so simply write in this way subject dot student ID okay great now I want to fetch some record so to fetch some record we need to use the select method okay so using select whatever we write actually this will get the result okay and finally we use get to fetch all the records so inside the select what we will need so I want the student name and the subject name right so student name and subject name so simply write students dot name and the another things that is subject dot name right so student name and subject name you will fetch but here when it will fetch it will return array but these are the name this is the student also using the name and subject also using the name so that may can conflict so we can set alias's name so here simply write student name or here you can simply write as subject name okay so that we can differentiate with both and simply just to return the result fine now to call this we need to use this in a join function from the routes I already added uh, this student controller into the routes so simply just create another route for inner join route get and simply write inner join and let's use the student controller so simply just copy from the previous okay student controller class and then the methods name what's the method name so my method name is inner join okay so all are done now if i just uh, go to this link we can see the result will come from the students and subject team okay so here you can see only four records are appearing why i already said actually inner join will get only those things which are common from the both table so simply just check this so here you can see the record is coming from michael english mark math that is the first thing is michael and this is english and then you can see the mark and the math and others are not appear why not appear because suppose if you check these things suppose if i just uh, check the chemistry so chemistry will have no student id uh, and for geography the geography the student ID is seven but in the student table there is no student uh, who are using the seven right so two are eliminated the four are displaying here good now the next thing is lab join so what is lab join so let's go to the lab join section so here you can see in this image you can see there is two tables lab join means from the table one we'll get all the records and from the table we will get those records which are uh, only related to the table one okay simply so now if i just uh, go to the lab join operation that means if i use student as the lab table so that means all the student will appear and the relating subject will appear means we will get six records okay so let's do the lab join operation so simply create a lab join in this way just copy this very simple right uh, instead of uh, inner join simply write lab join and also inside uh, here just write uh, in this way left join okay and just call this from the routes and paste it here and this is my function name that is lab join and change the url okay so let's see how these are appearing so if you check in a separate uh, tab 
then you can understand so i am just calling the lib join so here you will get all the six records right so here you can see inside the lisa the subject name is null why null so let's check the lisa is id 4 but if you check there is no student id related to the id 4 also if you check the alex is null that means alex are not using in any subject that means alex id 6 so here is no things or no subject which have the six related to the student id okay that means lab join will appear all the data from the lab table so one thing is lab that is a right join this is super easy and it is actually opposite of a right join right so always it will get all the data from the table 2 and will get only those data from table 1 which is related to table 2 easy so now just uh, go to the uh, visual studio code again and uh, create another and create another route for right join so simply write the right join so just right join this is my um url and simply use right join okay these are my methods okay so i want to make this as simple as possible so that you will understand the basic things so simply write a public function and then right join and this is also easy so just copy this and instead of left join simply write the right join okay and if you just uh, go to this link you can understand what is the difference between left join and right join so just go here and paste okay that means here you can see all the data appearing from the right table or from the subject table right so here you can see the english math history geography all are appearing but if the table one is data not appear it's actually showing the null it is actually opposite of lab join okay so this is super easy hope you will understand these things and still if you have any queries about this type of joining please comment me in a below comment section actually these are the basic things and it will need when you start your application from the beginning or from the first day you need these things of things right so hope you will like this video and in the next video we will cover another type of joinings like a cross join advanced join sub query join so these are also important things so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day